cuarta delegación de víctimas del conflicto armado. 2014 was a historic year for Colombia's peace process, with the participation of delegations representing victims of all of the armed actors involved in an internal conflict stretching back nearly 70 years. The victims were selected following three regional victims forums and a national forum staged by the National University in Bogota, the United Nations and the Catholic Church. Never before in an armed conflict have negotiators listened to the voices of the victims, nor has space for their participation has been guaranteed, and has happened in the case of Colombia. In total, five delegations of 12 victims each attended the process, with a widespread message of support for the talks expressed among them. I think this space has been very important because, in general, the victims have expressed that they agree with seeking a political exit to the armed conflict, that they don't want to continue with the war, that they don't want more victims to be produced. That participation has sparked hope among victims and Colombian society in general for an end to decades of hostilities. My hope and that of the majority of the Colombian people at this moment is that they come to an agreement for an end to the armed conflict, that from their working have some killer mechanism to initiate a long-term process of construction of peace, and also I think we have hope that Colombian society would involve itself in supporting the agreements. Hopefully people understand that the endorsement will be the opening of a larger discussion on the changes that this country needs. In June, President Juan Manuel Santos won re-election in a result that was largely seen as an endorsement of the peace process by the Colombian people. His opponent in the runoff, Oscar Ivan Zuluaga, had run on a staunch anti-peace negotiations ticket and his Democratic Centre Party, with ex-president Alvaro Uribe as its figurehead, remains vocally opposed to the talks. Those with the more extreme views also often uh, have the louder public voice and this, the majority who really want peace, who want this to succeed, who are willing to, to compromise to see success, aren't always adequately heard. So I hope their voices will be better heard in 2015 and I hope with their encouragement uh, the negotiations will reach a successful conclusion. While victims and high-profile supporters of the peace have experienced death threats and intimidation as part of an attempt from extreme right-wing elements to derail the process, they have remained unshakable in supporting the talks and hope to persist that a final agreement will be signed in 2015.